Well, 2020 lockdown, I'm very fortunate because I live next to the North Sea here, practically in the sea. I've got the beach at my doorstep. Craig Andrew So let's go down the old sheep track Around there is the area that I was born and brought up in. So this is my stumping ground, my home ground virtually. Over there in the distance there is the, the area that I was actually born and brought up in, in the parish of Slains. This area here behind me is uh, the hamlet of Winifold, or as locals cut, Funnyfall. Quite extraordinary, really, because Bram Stoker, the writer of Dracula, took a, a, rented a cottage here, and it's called the Crooked Lum, and it still stands today. The Crooked Lum. Walking in history. Further remnants of the past. And in centuries gone past, this area, this coastline, was rife with smuggling. As you can see, one of the caves there in the background. These lookouts were strewn across here, the coastline. The rock in the foreground is inch pedal. I'm going to make my way down to the foreshore there, where that incredible stack is there. And this is the point where the pink granite changes to grey, to grey granite. And it's great because the sheep have created these paths for us to explore. And with a bit of imagination, this could be a a set right out of Star Wars. Well, I'm just going to see if I can squeeze through that wee hole at the bottom of that rock. And my sheep are coming to see me. Hello, yeah? This is my country. Sheep grazing near the, be the beach. And us folk of the North Sea have an ancient custom, and that's of the call of the seal. 
And if you listen very careful, you'll hear them calling back. Another of my favourites of the seaside here is the abundance of our seaweed, the colours and the patterns. It's a work of art. And the smell. Oh, the smell of seaweed. The contrasting colours of the coastline. The national emblem of Scotland. Or thistle. And during every nook and cranny, there's a sight to behold. And the intrigue of ancient ruinous castles clinging to the edge of the cliffs. And this is the walk from the other side of the bay. It doesn't come any more beautiful than this. Now you know we're lucky to get this type of weather in this lockdown experience because believe you me we do we really get to see the, the, the sunlight in this part of the country. We, we, live to the, we live next to the North Sea here, it's a grey sea. We get the coastal har, the fog coming off the sea quite a lot. We've got a lot of grey days. And that greyness is reflected in the buildings, it's reflected in the rocks, and so we've got a great big grey blob here quite a lot of the time. So you're lucky to see it in this light, because <laughs> we'd always see it. Well, this is my homeland and this is for abiding for a love. But I haven't I lived here, I have 10 years I lived in the, the Highlands, in the, the capital of uh, the Highlands, Inverness. So I've got an equal affiliation with the hills and also with the lowlands because I lived in the Kingdom of Fife for a brief time. The hill of Scotland is just, it's remarkable. You know, this area is absolutely steeped in history. There you go, um, an old lookout. And these were scattered, strewn all over the coast here. 
the time of the Great Wars. And any enemy coming approaching from the sea, these lookouts were there to keep watch. It shows how vital our coastline is to us. Well, I'll let you into a little secret here. We are actually sitting on the peripheral of one of the top 100 golf courses in the world here at Cruden Bay. Not that I don't know, I don't normally get to walk in it, but in this lockdown, it's been a privilege just to see this magnificent course from a local perspective. The beauty of this course is simply astounding. And no, unfortunately, this is not my house. The old pavilion and the new clubhouse. Beautiful little Cruden Bay. And at the end of this day's walk, we're actually walking across the site here behind me, going back to the year 1012 where there was a battle between the Danish Vikings and the Scots. Well, the Vikings, being seafaring people, came up all up and down this coastline looking for new lands to settle. The time of the 1012 battle was a time at the end of the battle, the Vikings returned to Denmark, vowing never to return as enemies, but as friends. People from all over the world come to play on this natural lynx course, and you can see why. And this is where I live, in the old part of the village, Port Errol. Port Errol, where I live, is a was our traditional small fishing village. We're going back with centuries of history. So in this period of lockdown 2020, as you can see, all this, sea, all this scenery has been right on my doorstep. Well, most of this lockdown period, I've simply been sitting here in my little garden, watching my flowers grow and listening to the birds singing. <laughs>